I will make the recipients of welfare subject to random drug tests as a condition of their continuation on welfare. America is a land where industrious men braved unconquered wilderness with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Today we have the richest nation in the world with paved streets, brick homes, public parks and libraries, but little ambition to work. I believe the American spirit of self-sufficiency will be reinstilled when our government stops pandering to dependency. With this in mind, I will do everything I can to reverse the nationalization of health care as this is the most monstrous entitlement program ever conceived, giving government the power over life and death. What health care actually needs, less government regulation and an aggressive reintroduction of market forces. Looking at national security, America having the strongest national security in the world is not optional. We have real enemies. We are the nation that stands for freedom, but that freedom must be backed by unequal strength. I will relentlessly remind Americans that we are in a never-ending war against radical Islam. I will allow profiling to enhance security efforts. I will take nothing less than the defeat of the Taliban in Afghanistan. I will once and for all close and secure the borders of the United States to illegal immigration, building all necessary barriers. I will refuse any deal that seeks the supplementation of America's best interests. I will maintain never-ending efforts to keep nuclear weapons out of North Korea and Iran. And I will keep the trials of suspected terrorists off of U.S. soil and in military courts. America must end its reliance on foreign energy sources. I will help America achieve energy autonomy within 10 years. This can be accomplished by building and using more nuclear facilities and lifting restrictions on refineries and coal mining operations here in the United States. I will end all bans on and offshore here in the United States against drilling and in the Alaskan National Wildlife Refuge. It makes no sense to deal with rogue nations, dictators, and sworn enemies to provide our vital resources. With regard to the environment, thank you. I believe government's only responsibility, the only responsibility to the environment, is to enforce accountability on the part of private industry for violations thereto. America's enormous bounty of natural resources must be made to obey the law of supply and demand. I will fight all efforts to use government-imposed environmental regulations to shape industrial policy. Cap and trade is industrial suicide. America's children deserve to have a choice in education. I will apply the antitrust laws to the National Education Association and the American Federation of Teachers. I will eliminate tenure for government teachers and professors, making them accountable for the quality of their instruction. Vouchers will be made available to give parents access to private educational institutions. And I will seek to eliminate the Federal Department of Education as this is just another example of the federal government sticking its bureaucratic nose into local concerns. I will make sure that our, te our schools teach real education and will no longer have a politicized curriculum. America, you can count on me to be conservative through and through. I will fight multiculturalism and bilingualism in our public institutions. I will promote patriotism towards American institutions and I will make English the universal tongue of the people. I will support all legislation designed to uphold the vitality of the Second Amendment, believing that it is the right of every American to keep and bear arms, to protect themselves, their families, and their communities. I will eliminate limits on political free speech through unconstitutional campaign finance laws and I will only appoint judges that have an originalist judicial philosophy and I will privatize the regulation of Wall Street to fight crony capitalism. 
Now, America, I realize I'm just an everyday American with a long road to hoe. But clearly, the current administration is taking us straight towards economic bankruptcy, weakness in the war on terror, greater divisions between racial classes and social classes, the destruction of the private sector in exchange for big, biz, big government and its bureaucracy, prioritization of global citizenship over American sovereignty, and endless programs designed for the redistribution of wealth. Socialized medicine and cap and trade are just two of the latest killers of our American way of life. America, this country is our last hope for freedom. My message to you is to fight for it. I am not a Republican. I am not a Democrat. I am an American. And it is my goal and intention to lead the Tea Party to the office of the presidency of the United States of America.